Have you ever wondered about the future of Indian airports? Well, it's time to let the cat out of the bag. The Indian government has unveiled plans to privatize more airports, stepping up its game as part of the ambitious national monetization pipeline, often referred to as the NMP. This initiative, aiming to revamp the airport infrastructure, is a significant step towards transforming India's aviation sector. The Airports Authority of India, also known as AAI, has given this initiative a green light, signalling a new era of progress and development. This approval marks a turning point, shifting the gears towards a more privatised and efficient aviation sector. The privatisation of airports is not a new concept, but this time, it's different. The government is pushing the envelope, introducing new strategies and plans. So, what's this all about? Let's delve into the specifics. Now, which airports are we talking about here? Let's delve into the specifics. The grand scheme of the National Monetization Pipeline has identified a total of 13 airports for privatization. These include six major ones and seven smaller ones, each with their own unique significance in India's vast aviation network. Firstly, let's focus on the major airports. We have Amritsar, Bhubaneswar, Indore, Raipur, Trishi and Varanasi. These airports, with their bustling activity and significant passenger traffic, will soon enter a new era of management and operation. They are the key players in this privatisation initiative, serving as the main hubs for further expansion. But that's not all. The plan also includes seven smaller airports. These include Hubli, Tirupati, Aurangabad, Jabalpur, Kangra, Kushinaga and Gaya. While these airports may not match the scale of the major ones, they are no less important. They serve as critical access points to remote and underserved areas, contributing to the overall connectivity of the nation. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The smaller airports are not being privatised independently. Instead, they're being clubbed with the major airports. This means that they will be managed under the same private entity as the corresponding major airport. The idea behind this is to ensure a uniform level of service and infrastructure across both the major and smaller airports. So the clubbing goes as follows. Varanasi will be clubbed with Kushinagar and Gaya, Amritsar with Kangra, Bhubaneswar with Tirupati, Raipur with Aurangabad, Indore with Jabalpur, and Trishi with Hubli. This is a pioneering move by the Indian government, marking the first time that smaller airports are being clubbed with bigger ones for privatization. Picture this, a seamless blend of major and smaller airports, each equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, all under the same private management. This is more than just a change of hands. It's a revolution in the way we perceive and manage airports in India. These airports, both major and smaller ones, are set for a major revamp. The wheels of change are in motion and the sky's the limit. Stay tuned to see how this ambitious venture unfolds. You may wonder, what does clubbing of airports mean? Well, in the context of the National Monetization Pipeline Initiative, Clubbing refers to the strategic pairing of smaller airports with their larger counterparts. This innovative approach streamlines the process of privatization, creating a more attractive investment package for potential investors. The details of these pairings are as follows. Varanasi, a major hub, will be clubbed with the smaller airports of Kushinagar and Gaya. Amritsar will be paired with Kangra, Bhubaneswar with Tirupati, Raipur with Aurangabad, Indora with Yabalpur, and Trichy with Hubli. Each pairing is designed to maximize potential benefits for both the larger and smaller airports. It's a win-win situation, with the larger airports gaining access to new markets and the smaller ones benefiting from increased investment and improved infrastructure. This unique pairing of airports is a first in Indian aviation history. This approach not only paves the way for progressive changes in the aviation sector, but also sets a precedent for other nations to follow. What does the Indian government expect out of this privatisation? A question that naturally arises as we delve into the topic of airport privatisation. Let's explore. The Indian government has set its sights on an ambitious target. By March 2024, they anticipate private investment in airports to reach a staggering Rs 3,700 crore. That's a significant amount of capital that could dramatically transform the face of aviation in India. 
This privatisation initiative is not just about generating revenue, it's about fostering a competitive, efficient and dynamic aviation sector. It's about enhancing the quality of air transport services for the Indian public and creating an environment where innovation and improvement are the order of the day. The Airports Authority of India, or AAI, is the driving force behind this initiative. They've taken up the mantle to prepare the bid documents and complete the privatisation process by next year. This is a clear indication of the government's commitment to achieving their goal in a timely manner. This privatisation process is also unique in the sense that it's the first time smaller airports are being clubbed with bigger ones. This innovative approach is expected to provide a balanced development of the aviation sector across the country. It will ensure that smaller cities aren't left behind in this aviation revolution, providing them with improved access to air travel and the associated benefits. But it's not just about the here and now. This initiative is a strategic move that looks to the future. By attracting private investment, the government is setting the stage for a sustainable and self-reliant aviation industry. It's about creating a legacy that future generations can build on. So as we look ahead, it's clear that the Indian government has a vision. A vision of an aviation sector that is not just about revenue, but about providing quality, efficiency and accessibility to its citizens. With these plans in motion, the future of Indian aviation seems to be taking off on a promising journey. As we approach the end of our discussion, let's retrace our steps through the thrilling journey of the Indian aviation sector. The Indian government's ambitious national monetization pipeline is set to revolutionize the industry with the privatization of 13 airports, six major and seven smaller. Major airports like Amritsar, Bhubaneswar, Indore, Raipur, Trichy and Varanasi are stepping into a new era as they pair up with smaller airports such as Hubli, Tirupati, Aurangabad, Jabalpur, Kangra, Kushinagar and Gaya. This unique clubbing concept is a first for the aviation sector and a testament to India's innovative approach towards infrastructural development. With an expected private investment of about 3,700 crore rupees by March 2024, the Airports Authority of India is gearing up for a transformative year ahead. This is a significant stride towards reshaping the future of Indian aviation. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting chapter in Indian aviation. Until then, safe travels.